What's up, guys? This is Zach. This is Kyle. Hey, guys. And uh, thanks again for coming back in for New Angle Sports Talk today. Uh, today, we're going to recap the first NBA playoff game this year, 2019 playoff game. Pretty excited, pretty pumped. So let's just get started. All right, guys, so we've got a pretty good showdown today. Let's let's start with you, Kyle. Um, go ahead and give us our thoughts from basically the beginning of the game. We're going to play some highlights on the on the camera here. Uh, Kyle's going to start. Give us your opinion about uh, what's going on and what you thought, how, how you thought the game went. Uh, well, I mean, obviously the game didn't go uh, in Philly's favor, you know, considering they lost. But, you know, the first part of the game, it, it was – it was back and forth, but Embiid for the first couple of minutes was, you know, and you know, kind of enforcing himself on everybody. He got uh, Jared Allen in uh, foul trouble pretty quickly. He was playing good defense. I don't know if he played a single minute in the second half, so you're right. Yeah, I. But I, I'll say for about the first between two and four minutes, I was like, all right, you know, Embiid's going to be, you know, doing what he wants, and then he kept hitting the ground over and over, and I, I yeah. think it started messing with his knee. He wasn't the same. He was like 0 for 7 from three-point line. I don't know why he kept shooting it. Just like the rest of the team, I mean, for about the first quarter and a half, Philly couldn't make a three. And then uh, Jimmy Butler obviously ended uh, the uh, second quarter with some... Uh, hot note. Yeah. Uh, on a hot note, got yeah. them within uh, seven points. And it was looking like maybe the Sixers could uh, come back. But overall, uh, the, the defense for the Sixers... They were having a hard time on uh, people uh, slashing to the paint uh, on their uh, switch uh, pick and rolls and switching on to different people. Like we had Boban like switching on to like a point guard and then um, he, he couldn't even make a shot on Jared Dudley a couple times. Which yeah. I thought was really kind of weird. I forget Jared Dudley's in the league sometimes until I watch a um, Nets game. So. <laughs> yeah, they, um, but the Sixers as a whole had a hard time um, guarding the uh, perimeter as well as uh, the paint. Like it, it was an overall kind of uh, disappointing yeah. uh, game for the Sixers. So hopefully they can uh, – kind of shore that up a little bit in the second game but yeah so here's the, here's the thing that i noticed so obviously um the russell uh d'angelo russell's first game as an nba pro uh, in the playoffs i'm sorry so he's never made the nba playoffs until now um so i think he had some nerves he came out with some nerves he came out with some uh some shooting issues with two two and two for 11 in the first half i think jimmy butler really shut him down for the majority of the of the game um and obviously butler just crushed it in the first half obviously in the second quarter or second half that totally changed because um d'angelo russell ended with seven from 12 uh shooting as well so um but yeah like just to kind of go off what you said the nets are driving so well to the basket maybe that was because boban is slower and joel Embiid is faster but joel Embiid was injured um he left the game with three minutes left in the first half um do you think he should have just sat the rest of the game or do you think that he should have even started the game or what do you think I mean, I don't think he should have started, um, I, but I, at the same time, I knew, I think they thought this was obviously an important game. They wanted beat out there because he, he really does a good job of protecting the paint. Yeah. Um, obviously, he had like I think three blocks or so. Um, so he, he's 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 the most important player on that team. Indeed. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. If they're going to win this series. Um, Ben Simmons was a non-factor as well. Non-factor. Um, yes. I, I, don't, I don't know what was going on with him, but they just what they did was they um, they packed the paint and made the Sixers shoot threes, and they could not hit a three. Yeah. Um, back to the NB thing, I kind of got off subject there, but no, I don't think he probably should have played. Um, I obviously I think that knee tendonitis really affected him uh, throughout the game, so. Uh, hopefully he can play next game. I, I hope this doesn't like you know make his injury worse where he has to sit out another game or two. So yeah. that'd be a huge win for the for the Nets if he can play. Yeah, well, let's highlight a few of the um, the uh, matchups that we had. So we just talked about D'Angelo Russell and uh, Jimmy Butler. We we've talked about Joel Embiid, excuse me. Um, you know having his issues with the injuries as well too. But one thing that I heard uh, that was interesting when Doris Burke mentioned was in the four, the four matchups that they had in the regular season, the, the matchup between Jared Allen and Ed Davis against Joel Embiid, Joel Embiid was shooting 64% from the floor. Uh, um, obviously, I think Ed Davis was the, the biggest impact, the biggest 
positive impact for the Nets. Obviously, D'Angelo Russell and Spencer Dinwiddie and a bunch of those other guys really stepped up and showed, you know, showed what they can do. But I think from the get-go, um, maybe this is just the fact that Embiid was injured, but I think that Ed Davis, who's been a journeyman around the league, has really, really did step up today and, and had a double-double in, in the first three quarters. So um, he didn't play bad at all as well, too. Um, I think that, like I said, um, the Nets did drive well. Their guards had really good guard play against the 76ers as well, too. But um, that's kind of my, my big spotlight for today's game was Ed Davis and his impact that he had on the game. Karis LeVert had a big game, too. Uh, yes. So he, he did really good, especially in the first half. I think he ended the half at like 16 points, so it was, it was pretty good. Right, I definitely agree. Now, um, now one thing that was actually kind of interesting, whenever you went back and saw in the fourth quarter, um, I don't know if you saw this um, or not, but did you see the where Joel Embiid and Amir Johnson were on their cell phone during the middle of the game, <laughs> or not the middle of the game, but the fourth quarter? Oh, I did. I you didn't, didn't see. Ca- I didn't catch that. Okay, yeah. The, basically, within ten minutes left to the fourth, um, I was taking some more notes and stuff, and then they bring up that they were on their cell phone. Amir Johnson goes into the locker room. He gets called in there. He comes back onto the bench, but I'm like. This whole team isn't – they aren't zoned in. They're not ready to play this playoff series. Um, you should have came prepared, and the Nets – that's why I think the Nets – I picked them to have an upset this season, this uh, this this playoff series, and I think that they will is because they came unprepared. D'Angelo Russell didn't have a good first half, but he got it un, He got it taken care of in the second half, and he crushed it. He shot 7 for 12 um, the rest of the game. So, well, I mean, if I was Jimmy Butler, for example, I, I'd be pissed off at, at those two. <laughs> I mean – as you could tell he was zoned in the whole game, and he was trying. I mean, I, I feel like the whole team played as hard as they could outside of a couple, but that, I mean, I know Jimmy in particular, he has probably the most playoff experience on that team. Yeah. And you could tell he was just like, you, you need to be more focused if we're going to win this. Um, maybe this was a wake-up call for the Sixers, um, hopefully. Um, who knows? It looks like it's going to be a pretty good series, hopefully. Uh, I mean, if they keep this up, though, I mean, hell, the Nets are Nets are going to sweep them. So, uh, but we'll <laughs> I see wouldn't what, go that far. We'll yet, see what but happens, but yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, fi- uh, so closing thoughts here. I definitely think that um, obviously the 76ers just did not come to play. They did not stay focused, and you heard it all throughout the game. Net uh, 76ers fans just booing their team because they had stupid mistakes. Mm-hmm. They weren't taking care of the ball. They weren't locked in on defense. Um, they were just driving to the basket, it seems like, on every play. Uh, the Nets, but you also have to give them credit as well, too. They had a game plan coming in. Um, they stayed with each other. They didn't put each other down. They stayed right. you know, they stayed uh, with the ship, so to speak. So, But specifically, the last 10 minutes of the game, you saw Spencer Dinwiddie, when Spencer Din- Dinwiddie excuse me, take over the uh, the playmaking. He, he did that a lot during the game, but he slowed down the game. For the first, after the 10-minute mark, the first five possessions that they had were slowed down within like 10 seconds left of the shot right. clock um, and things like that. They got offensive rebounds. They just kept on going, even though they had a 15-point lead or, lead or 12-point lead. Um, at that point, they just kept on going, and I thought that was a huge difference. I kept arguing with the TV today because <laughs> they kept saying Spencer Dinwiddie, and I was like, it's Spencer Dinwiddle. Dinwiddle? Yeah, I, I thought it, I thought it was an L at the end every time. It's I Dinwiddie. Thought, yeah, I know. <laughs> and, then, and then his dick came up, I was like, oh, it is Dinwiddie. Oh, oh my, my God. bad, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> this whole time, I just feel like, I just found out it was Dinwiddie today. Dinwiddie? I was, oh, yeah. dude, that guy can play. Yeah. yeah. can play. Yeah. So uh, that was my thoughts. Kyle, you have any last thoughts? No, no, not at all. Not really. Okay, guys. So this is our recap. Nets and 76ers. Nets take game one. Big game. My bracket looks good right now. I've got them with an upset. So hopefully they can build on this and and get another W on Monday. So uh, that was pretty much it, guys. We're going to have another video out tonight. Um, Give us your comments. Give us your thoughts. Give us your opinions. Like, subscribe, the whole nine yards. And uh, we'll see you guys in a little bit.